Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video I want to give you some quick 10 minute cleaning motivation so if you have some things you've been needing to do around your house you can watch this video and hopefully it'll motivate you to get some things done as well as I'm sharing with you guys two little easy DIYs that I did this weekend with things that I mainly had around the house so it's just to give you some inspiration so I hope you guys are excited for that so if you are I really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your weekend plans are in the comments so we're gonna start off just picking up the house it wasn't too too terrible but I had some things I needed to put away dishes to do obviously and then always wiping down the counters I've been doing this obsessively lately just because of all the sickness going around and it never hurts to do a little bit of extra cleaning wanted to show you guys is how I clean my sink. I use just the last little bit of baking soda that we had and I just scrub it out. I will usually use like a paper towel or something when I'm completely out. So I just use an old dish towel and you can just see how much cleaner it looks after. So I just scrub it with the baking soda and then rinse it out and you have a nice shiny sink left and it's completely clean. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go We're moving into the living room. It was a mess because this is where we spend the majority of our time. So I was going to straighten up the couch and then I always leave that blanket there because the dogs get on the couch and I just don't want to risk if they have muddy paws or something. So it's always better to be safe than sorry and then of course just going to vacuum up a little bit. It wasn't too bad and then I'm going to start folding all these clothes. I've been keeping up with laundry pretty well but that just means I have a lot to fold. And we'll grow in number start on my first DIY. I'm making two plank shelves like farmhouse style for over my bathtub area. So I'm going to take you guys on the process. They're really easy. I've made shelves like this previously for my guest bedroom and also my laundry room. So I'm just using my stall to cut my wood. Um, yeah, it's it turned out really, really cute, but it was really hard to get the line to cut straight because the saw wasn't big enough to go all the way through one time, so I kept having to flip it. But anyway, it all turned out great, and I'm going to go ahead and stain it, and my favorite stain color to use is golden oak. It's just so beautiful, so that's what we're going to be doing.
while the stain is drying, I'm going to go ahead and Windex some mirrors and our coffee table. They just get really dirty and dog hair shows up, so it's always a good idea to clean those. So I'm going to do that and then move on and clean some other windows that I normally don't clean. I just included a little clip of me packing up the few Easter decor items I had out. Super small little things, but I always keep them in this bin and then I put the bin in the attic. I'm taking down my old towel bar and I'm going to spackle the holes. So this is actually over a couple days because I had to let the spackle dry and, you know, do all that stuff. And I actually ran out of the paint to touch up on the wall. And obviously I don't want to go out right now to get it. So we'll just have to do that later. But I still hung up my shelves and they look super cute. And I'm going to show you guys me decorating them and then some other little DIYs. decor that I had around the house that I was just either repurposing, moving around, or stuff that was just not being used. And I love the way they turned out. It just shows that if you have extra decor, just move it around your house, switch it up every now and then, and it can give your house a whole new feel without buying any new decor. So I'm just putting pieces that I've been using in different spaces or some other things I wanted to repurpose, like this jar I'm gonna fill with a bath bomb and my Buff City soap bar and then a cute little scoop. So when I need to use my bath salts, they're right there and it's really convenient. So my next DIY is something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm doing those little stamped on the spine book books that you like stack and then you wrap them with twine and it's so so cute this stuff sells on etsy all the time but i just wanted to make my own because i had a lot of old books that i got for 50 cents at a garage sale or from the library sale and i just stamped my little sayings on there wrapped it with some twine and added some eucalyptus and it is so cute and it cost me zero dollars just stuff i had around the house so I absolutely love it and I just put relax and unwind and it's really a good idea if you have a longer word to start from the like the end of the word and then work your way back because I've had times where I've tried to do this and I mess it up. So they didn't turn out absolutely perfect but I kind of like the messy look. I don't know. I just think it looks more vintage and I like the way they turned out and for a free decor piece they look super cute on my shelves. So here are my shelves all decorated. Like I said, I love it. I ended up adding a little basket and put some washcloths in there. So if I'm getting in the bathtub, I can just grab a washcloth and I'm good to go as well as my bath salts with a cute little wooden scoop inside for when I just want to scoop it into my bath. So I love the way this turned out. And like I said, it was very inexpensive to do these shelves.
The last little thing I wanted to include in this video is I'm getting rid of this light. I never liked these kind of lights and I got a new one on Amazon. So I just installed that real quick. <laughs> I did it all by myself. I'm super proud and I love it. I think it just adds a nice little space, touch to the space and it makes it look more modern farmhouse. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and this gives you some motivation to get some things done around your house. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.